This is question 10 from paper 1 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. Given information about a dance competition, given 10 scores here, first round scores, and we're asked to calculate the median and the semi-interquartile range. And then there's more information about the second round, where we're told the median and we're told the semi-interquartile range and asked to compare the two rounds. So first off, the median. This involves taking this data set and putting it in numerical order, smallest to largest, for instance, and looking at the middle value. There may not be a middle value, but we'll deal with that as we come to it. So let's look at this. There's 10 scores. We better double check at the end that we still have 10 scores. So this is part A. Smallest score would appear to be 12, followed by 16, 17, a couple of 18s. And then beyond 18, we seem to have a 21, a 22. And then there's a 26 and a couple of 27s. 26, a couple of 27s. Better check, there's 10 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's good. So half of 10 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means there isn't a middle value. So the median must be the mean of these two middle values. We add them up, divide by 2. So that gives us 39 divided by 2, which is 19.5. So that's our median. Now, the semi-interquartile range. We look at the lower half of the data, and we basically work out the median of that. Now, there's five items in the data there, so the middle one is 17. That's what's called the lower quartile. And we do the same for the upper half of the data. The median of the upper half is 26. That's what's called Q3, the upper quartile. So we've got lower quartile. Let's just write these down. Because after all, we have to try and learn what these things are. And this is the upper quartile. So Q1, Q3. I suppose the median is, is called Q2, though we don't often use that. So the semi-interquartile range, semi gives the youth clue that you're halving, the range is the difference between the upper and the lower quartiles, Q3 minus Q1. So in this case, it's a half of 26 minus 17. So it's a half of 9, which is 4.5. So there's our answer to part A. Median's 19.5. Semi-interquartile range is 4.5. Now, comparisons between the first round scores and the second round scores. In the first round, we had a median of 19.5. In the second round, the median has increased to 26. So since the median is a me measure of the average, what we can definitely say is that uh, in second round, the average score has increased. And the reason for that is that we're saying 26 is greater than 19.5. The other statistic we have is the semi-interquartile range. And in the first round, the semi-interquartile range we worked out was 4.5. So what's happened in the second round? What's the semi-interquartile range of the scores in the second round? We're told the semi-interquartile range has gone down to 2.5. Now, semi-interquartile range is a measure of how spread out these data values are around the median. 
So they're less spread out in the second round, which means they're more consistent. So in the second round, the scores are more consistent. There's less extreme values there. They're more consistent. And reasoning is, is that 2.5 is less than 4.5 in this case. So there's our two statements. Now, it's important to know when you make these statistical statements about averages and, and, and so on, that you must back them up with the numbers. So statistics are required. The statistics that you calculated, median and the semi-interquartile range. They're called statistics. So back up your comparison statements using the statistics that you've calculated.